Hi, MJ here for tabletblog.de. I just got the Arcos 80 Titanium, a new 8 inch tablet that was released in Germany a couple of days ago. Um, it only costs 169 euros and I think it's about the same in US dollars. And in this video we want to unbox the new very cheap tablet from Arcos. So let's go at it. Here's the Arcos 80 Titanium, but let's quickly put it to the side here and let's have a look at the other accessories that are in this box. We have a user manual and the warranty guide card whatever. Then we have a couple of adapters. This is a US one, European one and a British adapter for this um, power, the power plug that is this thing here. And we have a micro USB to USB 2.0 cable. So that's pretty much it what is in the box with the Arcos, Arcos AT Titanium and let's put it out of this plastic stuff here. So this is the Arcos AT Titanium. It's an 8 inch tablet and it looks pretty much like the iPad mini. It's a little bit bigger. The Arcos AT Titanium is an 8 inch tablet and the iPad mini of course has 7.9 inch. The resolution is the same 1024 by 768 so not the highest resolution on both of these tablets um, but the screen as far as I could see on the trade shows from the Arcos 80 Titanium is actually quite good similar to the iPad mini so the resolution is not everything about a display. Of course the iPad mini is a lot thinner than the Arcos 80 Titanium but of course the iPad mini is a lot um, more expensive as well so it's a lot thinner the iPad mini and it is also lighter. The Arcos 80 Titanium is actually quite heavy, um, especially for an 8 inch tablet. I think it's about 400 gram. So let's quickly go around the Arcos 80 Titanium. We have first of all the 8 inch display, as I said, 1024 by 768 is the resolution. A webcam here on the top. On the side is a home button, a rocker switch for the volume. Then we have nothing here, nothing here, and here's a micro SD card slot, a reset button, the power plug, but, uh, power plug port, then an HDMI out, micro USB, headset port, and the power button here on the top. On the back we have a webcam, the speakers, and a nice aluminum back. So it actually the build quality is quite good, especially for Arcos device. They had problems with the build quality in their previous tablets. Everything was plastic and so on, but actually the build quality of the Arcos 80 Titanium and the whole Titanium line is quite good. Um, a lot better than the previous Arcos models and you don't see a lot of tablets with an aluminium bag for that kind of price. Okay, let's quickly turn the Arcos 80 Titanium on. I will um, connect the Wi-Fi and so on and then we will see us. So I'm back, I connected the Arcos 80 Titanium to the Wi-Fi and set it up with my Google account and so on. And now let's have a look at the software. On the Arcos 80 Titanium runs Android 4.1 Jelly Bean and the 4.1 Jelly Bean, yeah, that's right. And there's also an update available right now. I'm pretty sure that this is not Android 4.2 or 4.2.2. Um, it's just a firmware update for the Arcos 80 Titanium and I will install that later and in the final review video we will have the latest version installed. Let's quickly take a look at the settings. No, we don't want to connect another um, account. There, Android 4.1.1 runs on the Arcos 80 Titanium. So we have Project Butter and thanks to Project Butter and of course the 1.6 GHz dual core workshop and the Mali 400 GPU. Um, the Arcos 80 Titanium actually runs quite smooth, especially for that price, 169 euros. It's pretty cheap, cheaper than the Nexus 7. And of course a lot cheaper than the iPad mini. And yeah, let's just open a couple of apps and let's see how that goes, how the Arcos 80 Titanium manages that. I'm opening tabletblock.de right now. It's loading a little bit of JavaScript here always takes it some time with every tablet but yeah it's loaded now and um, 
you can scroll pretty smooth here. Text looks good. Let's see what the accelerometer does. And it's actually quite fast, especially for um, such a cheap tablet. I mean, if you look back a year or so, then the accelerometer always was pretty slow, especially compared to iOS. But now it's actually quite fast here, as you can see. Okay, let's quickly just compare the display with the iPad Mini. The Arcos 80 Titanium actually has a quite good display, especially if you compare to the Acer Kona V1 or the new HP Slate 7. Um, the HP Slate, HP Slate 7 has um, pretty similar good viewing angles. The viewing angles here on the Arcos 80 Titanium are good, it's an IPS display. And the HP Slate 7 has good viewing angles as well, but the colors aren't that good. You always see a little bit of gray here on the bottom where it's supposed to be black. And it's black on the Arcos 80 Titanium. Um, but the colors, um, the display isn't as bright as on the iPad Mini, as you might see here. Of course, the price point is pretty different here. The iPad Mini costs almost twice as much as the Arcos 80 Titanium. And you see the iPad Mini is a little bit brighter. Um, yeah, besides that, the Arcos 80 Titanium, the display is okay. Um, but the iPad Mini, of course, has a little bit better display. It's pretty much brighter but the viewing angles are about the same and the colors are actually quite good. Here on the camera, the Arcos 80 Titanium looks a little bit bluish, but um, it's actually not really the case. It's just a little bit darker than the iPad Mini, so the white doesn't look as bright as on the iPad Mini here. Okay, that was the display. Um, let's maybe open another website, the German news site. There we go. Just see it loaded pretty fast right now here and we can already scroll. Multi-touch of course works and I sh already showed you the accelerometer. Yep, it's still quite fast. Okay, let's close this app. Um, Pre-installed are of course the Arcos Video, Arcos Music app and so on, as well as the Google apps and the standard Android apps like the camera gallery. And yeah, that's it. If you start the Arcos 80 Titanium for the first time, you have the chance to install a couple of other apps um, that Arcos, Arcos gives you the choice to install other apps like, I think always there's Angry Birds, uh, the Pulse Newsreader, I think also World of Goo. I didn't do that, I wanted to start with a, as clean system as possible, so I didn't install those apps, I just installed Temple One 2 a minute ago just to test the game. And let's start it up. Of course, on Jelly Bean and the Mali 400, 400 GPU here, Temple One works pretty good. And um, the same goes for our games like Angry Birds and um, whatever, Angry Birds, World of Goo and so on. All the a little, more, little bit more simpler games, they work, of course, pretty good on the Arcos 80 Titanium, as they do with pretty much any um, Android tablet that's um, new. Good, it works. We are still in the tutorial here because I haven't played that much in the couple of minutes. Um, good, let's quick quit this game. Um, you might have some problems with higher end games, maybe the newest 3D shooters, maybe they don't run on here, we have to test that. Um, but of course, again, it's just 169 euros, so it's pretty cheap. Here yeah, overall, the Arcos 80 Titanium is a quite a good tablet as far as I can see. You should definitely subscribe to this channel because we will have a more in-depth review video later, maybe later this week or next week. So you so should definitely check the new video out in one or two weeks. And yeah, this is the Arcos 80 Titanium. A quick unboxing and a quick hands-on. I'm MJ for tabletblog.de. Thanks for watching. Yeah.